Hi, this is Max Miller calling you back. Yeah, hi. Hey, how are, how are you doing? I'm fine. Just hearing headlines and emails. Yeah. Hey, do you mind if I record this conversation or not? Okay, that's that's good. All right. Uh, so so, how old were you when you rode in the car? Uh, I was in middle school. I was uh, seventh grade. And uh, uh, rough idea what year that was. Eighty-four, eighty-five, maybe. Huh. And. Uh, it, but, uh, I'm sorry, what what did he tell you about the car? I, I'm not real sure. I know I lived in Brookville, Ohio at the time, um, and I was in middle school. I'm 44 now. I don't know if you did that. <laughs> and, and you you were just one of Stan's, you, you just lived near Stan or something? I lived where? You lived close to, to Meyer and his buggy? So, so uh, you you said you were in your teens, so you were old enough to see if it had any gasoline or anything in it. There was no gas. I, I'm mechanically inclined. I was work on numbers of cars, and it was a rail, you know, a deep rail. So there was nothing hidden, and there was, you know, I, I knew I knew how an engine worked. I put fuel on it before I knew how to do it. Right. Huh. So, so. I wish I could have saw that. That had been pretty neat. And the thing was fast, too. It wasn't a slow doom buggy. It ran. It was quick. Huh, that's it. Yeah, and then we went back by his house a couple of weeks later. He told me he was in the area of Prince and she was a horse. And he had a note with each other, but he had a white pony. We went by the house and bought it. Are you on a cell phone, are you? I'm on a magic jack. Uh, <laughs> I'm getting a lot of distortion in the in the conversation. <laughs> well, you heard how said the house was gone, though, right? Yeah, and that that was just a couple couple weeks later, though. I believe it was 1998 when he died. When he died? Yeah, he died in 98, I think. Okay, well, this, this was long before that. Then he disappeared. Because it was in the, 
I don't think I don't think there's been more than one of the dune buggies. I don't think so. It, it would have been him. It's 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 pretty. It's a good uh, good story. It's it's pretty awesome. Well, that's what have happened, and that would have been my age, you know, because I know I was in middle school. Because when I met Larry, and then, well, you know, and it was at Wilbon and Pleasant Plain where Larry lived, and we lived right through the woods, north up towards Phillipsburg, Ohio. Just farmhouse was. Uh, and do you, do you re- remember all you remember is the tank? He poured water in the tank. You don't remember any other details. Um, I I saw him put the water in with the garden hose, and it wasn't the radiator. He was putting it in. It was a dune buggy, so you could see everything. Right. And he explained it to me, and I don't remember. I was young, you know, but it was it was not gas going into the thing because it was pipe. There was no and and it was just water straight out of the garden hose right from a, a well if it was out in the countryside it must have been a well yeah but it, it was off of his house though the hose was right but I'm, I'm saying the, the house was in the countryside yeah it was all water right yeah, sure, you know, it was out in the country right huh <laughs> yeah, yeah, we we uh, we have a lot of the information from the buggy, and we we make a lot of the circuits and stuff that were in the buggy, and we're, we're working on reproducing all that stuff. Okay. So, um, I mean, I mean, I believe you. Don't get me wrong. I believe you. <laughs> Right. And then it went, it went from that tank to uh, injectors, I suppose, or a carburetor, the carburetor. But we explained it at the time, you know, and made it sound really, really simple. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll email you some pictures later, and uh, maybe maybe you can conduct can connect the dots with the pictures. Okay, I also sent you an email, a short essay that I wrote. Yeah, I'll, I'll read it here here when we get done talking. But yeah, yeah I just I just I just wanted to call you and and uh, record the conversation if you don't mind. Uh, I can put this on my YouTube the conversation. Well, he actually worked on the car for like 20 years, and he had uh, di- he had different levels of uh, development. Okay. Well, it ran great when I was in it. It was, whatever, it was, yeah, 44 or 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, I'll have to check the date, but I, I, like I said, I think it was 98 when he died. I've got the autopsy report somewhere. Mm, well, there's another guy out of Akron, Ohio, because I was doing, after that found out, I was digging around, and I actually found a video with it. Pretty, pretty on saltwater. We were looking for cancer, and we were a scientist out of a laboratory in Ohio. So I looked him up in a car truck, and I called him. And the guy had died. He was a car, and he 
media, the virus, this technology, and they had, you know, visits with the government and all that stuff, and the guy refused to do it. We were going to just release it. And I sent you a link to that video as well. Yeah. And that's another, it just had me looking at people in Ohio, and I ran across that video, and I thought I would call. And sure enough, it looks pretty real to pee, and here the guy died in mysterious causes. Oh, oh yeah, you, you, you wouldn't believe some of the information and the files and stuff I've collected through the years about different stuff like this. Uh, they're suicidal. Say again? They are suicided. Oh, I'm sorry, you're breaking up on that one. Say it one more time. I said they have them suicided. Oh, suicided. <laughs> I, I I don't know. We we won't get into that. <laughs> there's there's all kinds of theories and everything else about people coming up missing, and I I try not to get into that aspect. Yeah, I highly doubt it's theory. But uh, yeah, Stan lived in uh, here near Columbus, Ohio, but he had farms here and there. So I've heard. So that was probably the farmhouse. Huh. Well, it it was nice talking to you. I, I got to get back uh, doing what I was doing, but uh, maybe we can have another telephone conversation another day. All right, I'll, I'll call on a real phone. Uh, yeah, send me a link to the YouTube video. I'm not it. Yeah, I will, and I'll I'll send you some other pictures and stuff of uh, Stan's car. Maybe you can match up uh, what uh, what phase of development you rode in then. Oh, I'm I'm sure. It it sounds it sounds like so, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I, I I appreciate the phone call, and I'll be talking to you later. All right, talk to you later. Yep. Thanks again.